Hey man, maybe Saudi as your love Pilipinas. So I, I got his, uh, I got what he mean. She slapped me. She even kicked me. She even uh, spit on my face. I want to commit suicide, suicide, you know, and uh, I even want to kill her. You know, I plan to kill her. You know, I have a knife. They have a knife. And then every day when I saw that knife and I saw her, I want to kill her. Filipino workers fill most of the building and domestic jobs in Saudi Arabia. But Saudi labor law does not even recognize them. Unions are outlawed. Their employers hold their passports, and without their permission, foreign workers cannot even travel or leave the country. In case of a legal dispute, they have no right to a lawyer. Nasser Mustafa is a Philippine government welfare officer, formerly stationed in Jeddah. He has seen how employers retaliate when workers complain. Now, if the employer is available, he is being uh uh, invited to attend a meeting in the police to confront his worker. And once they are there, the police will read the complaint of the worker. This is what you do for a worker. She is complaining that uh, this and that, you did it to her, something like that, like that. Then the employer will also retaliate another complaint. She ran away because she stole my, my, my jewelries, my money, something like that. So, that is, uh, 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 the police cannot decide on that case, you know, because both parties are complaining, are complaining. So what happened? Our worker will be taken custody by the police and he end up in the jail. Jessica's ordeal at the hands of her original employers lasted five months. It pushed at a breaking point. Then I ran. You know, I ran in the street, I ran. I ran in the street, I ran, I ran. One night, the door was left unlocked and Jessica escaped. She ran all night. Finally, a driver stopped and hid her inside the car. But she was still under threat. And then uh, she touched my face, he touched my face. Oh, you are uh, beautiful. Then I told him, no, please have pity on me. I don't want like that. Please, then he told me, yes, I will bring you, at, I will brought you to my uh, sister. And then uh, the next day, you, you, will, uh, you will be brought to another sister because they are in need of a helper. The driver found her temporary refuge with an Egyptian family. For fear of reprisals, we have to disguise their identity. This is where we had found her, but Jessica's position was now even more precarious. She was an outlaw and could face jail at any moment. I want my children someday that uh, they will uh, finish uh, their school. I want to give them a, a bright future someday. I don't want them uh, to experience uh, the things I experience in this country. As long as I'm alive, maybe someday, somehow soon, uh, me and my children uh, will meet again. We will be together again as a family. Jessica cannot even tell if her letters are getting home. She's been in Saudi Arabia for eight months and has yet to send any money to her family. She has no idea of her sick daughter's current state. Jessica has to be up before dawn every day to care for her new master's needs. She's still not paid. Any complaint would ensure her immediate arrest. She is a modern slave. She can only dream of returning home.
I don't think my life in in this country will be like this. What kind of uh, life I I have here? The mentality of the Saudi nationals, as if if they hired a worker, work with them in their house, as if they have bought the soul and life of that uh, worker. So, in other words, they can do what they want. Jessica is desperate for help. We pose as her relatives and go with her to the Philippine consulate. There we plan to capture as much as possible on film. Jessica finds little sympathy. The consulate is crowded with people in the same boat as her. Up to 300 stranded Filipinos at any one time are seeking refuge here. Some have to wait for six months or more before they can go home. Without her passport, Jessica is trapped. On the wall, a list of runaways reported to the police. Were all of these people run away? Yes. No, my name is not registered here. Sorry? My name, maybe they do not uh, surrender my passport and they do not... Uh, they are not here. So the employer still has your passport? Yes, and uh, they do not report uh, to, the, to this embassy that I escaped from them. Yeah. So what do you think we should do now? I will not call them. I will just watch it. I will not go home. I will not go home. What will I bring to my family? Our luck runs out. We're spotted filming. And are fortunate that our only punishment is to be escorted off the premises. Once the worker, a domestic helper, ran away, and uh, seek the assistance of the Philippine Embassy and the Philippine Consulate uh, in Jeddah, we are given 24 hours to endorse them to the local authority. That, uh, that was the agreement between our Secretary of Labor and the Ministry, Minister of Labor of Saudi Arabia that within 24